to do with Rikers Island, the infamous complex that is the main jail of New York City. The last two mayors of the city hoping to close Rikers and set up satellite jails in four of the five boroughs, which has not exactly gone over well with all the neighborhoods where smaller jails will be housed. But the federal government once again now threatening to take over Rikers, and today they made their case again. And the clock's ticking. I was news reporter Joe Torres is here with the latest. Joe? Bill, it's a complex problem. We've known that. And it's been six years since the appointment of a federal monitor to oversee long sought reforms at a correctional facility that houses 5,000 detainees and serves as a workplace for 7,000 employees. So today, a status conference in federal court that brought together all the key players who want to see changes designed to protect officers, improve prisoner safety, address staffing shortages, among many other things. The the U.S. Attorney's Office believes receivership, placing the jail under court control. That might be the necessary fix for Rikers. City officials and the Department of Correction Commissioner argued, unlike previous administrations, they said they have the political will and the resources to bring lasting change and that receivership is not necessary. But the federal monitor and others have heard those promises before. They say changes to labor and civil service laws and outside expertise are all desperately needed to implement the many changes recommended by the federal monitor. I think it's up to the parties to see whether or not this will will actually come to fruition but the judge i think will be um very interested in trying to figure out if there are other alternatives other than receivership um, to bring rikers into compliance with the constitution now today mayor adams said he plans to hire more than 570 new correction officers that'll help and the federal monitor did acknowledge the recent and positive changes made by the commissioner commissioner Luis molina he's only been on the job for a few months since the first of the year changes regarding staffing family visitation overall supervision nonetheless the judge today gave the city three weeks that's it to detailed a comprehensive reformation plan we'll see